Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video. This video is for all of my nurse friends, aspiring nurses, people in nursing school, thinking about nursing school. This video is for you, especially if you're considering Chamberlain University. If you're new here, hi, my name is Liz, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. In this video, I wanna give you guys like a backstory on my experience with Chamberlain, how I even thought about going there, why I became a nurse, and my plans now being that I've been a nurse for a couple of years. So if you're interested in learning anything about Chamberlain University or my nursing journey, then please keep on watching. Chamberlain University is known to be like one of the top nursing schools in the country. Um, they have several campuses throughout the United States. I went to the campus in Miramar, Florida, which was an on-ground campus. Chamberlain University offers a variety of health science degrees, but they're more primarily known for nursing. So before I dive into my experience at Chamberlain, I really want to give you guys a backstory of how I even got to go there in the first place. Let's start with high school. So in high school, I literally don't remember having a plan. I don't remember thinking when I graduate, I wanna to go to this university, I wanna study this and I wanna become this. I just didn't have that plan. For whatever reason, the future and me were not clicking. I've always been a straight A student, elementary school, middle school, and half of high school. So let me explain. Um, once I hit like 11th grade, my grades kind of started slacking. I was still passing my classes. I was never a failing student, but I certainly wasn't on that straight A track anymore. I got a boyfriend, i.e. Eric. I had a lot of friends. I was more into the social scene and didn't really think about what was going to happen after graduation. So once graduation came up, um, all of my friends had plans to go to different universities. They were applying to schools, getting accepted. They had a game plan. And at that point I was like, okay, oh, maybe I should apply to a university. Without necessarily thinking about my degree plan, I just applied to Florida Atlantic University and I got rejected. So my grades were super mediocre by the time I graduated high school. Like I'm talking mainly C's, a couple of B's, no A's at all. Um, and that wasn't good enough to cut it to get into a university. So I decided to go to community college. Now I started community college the summer after graduating high school, still with no degree plan, just with the mindset of, okay, I graduated, so now I go to college. Like but not really linking the fact that I need to know what I want to do before I waste time and money. So like I said, I started community college right out of high school at 18 years old with no focus, no concentration, just figuring, okay, let me get an associate degree and I can transfer to university with that. I started taking electives that were kind of here, there and everywhere and failing everything. I mean everything. I was getting D's, I was getting F's, I was having a lot of withdrawals. From those classes, if it was hard, I was like, oh, withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. Not even really thinking about how that was gonna impact my GPA and my immediate future. I was just jumping around from class to class, wasting time and wasting money. I had been granted um, like basically enough funds to cover an associate degree and I was just literally wasting all of that money. So I would go for a semester, take some weeks off, try to go back, fail a class, try to remake it, fail it again, withdraw it. Like I was just literally all over the place. And that was for almost two years until I became pregnant with Isaiah. And Eric wasn't even living here. He was literally just coming to visit for summers and you know vacations and things like that. He was in school in Vermont. I was still living in Florida. So I got pregnant. Um, and things kind of took a turn from there, I guess you could say. I was still going to school, kind of picking up my grades a little bit, still not great, still no direction of what I really wanted to do. Um, and when Isaiah was about five months old, my parents decided to move to Orlando, which is further north from South Florida, obviously. Me being 20 with no job and no plan, I have, a, you know, of course I had to follow my parents. So I moved to Orlando with them and Isaiah. Now at this time that I moved, Eric had transferred to a school in Georgia. So I was much closer to him. We were only like four or five hours away. It was an easier drive so that he can come visit me and visit Isaiah while he was still in school. And that's kind of what we did for a while. When I had Isaiah, that's where I kind of went into grind mode. Like, okay, I really need to settle down. I need to focus on my, my future and my goals and what I'm gonna do here. So that's when I decided to enroll in another community college where 
I did receive my associate degree with straight A's. I was fortunate enough to receive another grant to complete that degree. Um, and I did, and I did not waste the opportunity and I took full advantage of it and I got straight A's and I received my associate degree. With that degree now, I knew I can go to any university. I had a great GPA. Um, so I applied to the University of Central Florida and got accepted. Once I got accepted to UCF, I thought, okay, I think I want to go into nursing. This is something that I probably would be interested in because I like, you know, I always liked the hospital environment. I liked the aspect of caring for people. I liked medication, like that kind of stuff was um, interesting to me. So I figured, let me at least go and start at UCF with, on a pre-nursing track. So I started the nursing class. I got a B in that class, which was great. And then my parents decided to move back down to South Florida. So I had to withdraw from UCF and move back down to South Florida. Um, and at the same time, Eric moved from Georgia to South Florida back home as well. So we were together again. We were able to raise Isaiah together. And at that time, I was kind of more focused on family now. I was like, okay, I have my associate degree. Let me, let me just think about it a little bit longer. Let me figure out like what I really want to do. Eric and I finally got our first apartment together. So that meant I had to get a job. Um, so I started working in a pediatric rehab facility. That's where I realized that I really did like working in healthcare. I liked working with patients. I liked, um, you know, involving myself with the families and communicating with families. Mind you, I was only working clerical, like front desks, scheduling appointments, answering phones, things like that. But I was still exposed to the environment. And that's where I realized, okay, I definitely want to work some, you know, somewhere in healthcare. But nursing just seemed like something that was so unattainable. Like it just seemed hard and unattainable. I had been researching nursing schools here and there and I saw their prerequisites, which looked really hard. And then one year wait list, two year wait list. You have to take all these exams to get into the school. It just seemed like a mission. And I said, there has to be an easier way. It has to be something else like along those lines that is easier for me to do now. And I went online to another community college and saw their EMT paramedic program. And I said, oh, that seems cool and applied. And it was very impulsive. Um, I think I researched the school on Monday and by Friday I was already ready to go to start the following week. That's how like impulsive it was. Um, so I started EMT school and absolutely loved it. It was one semester for EMT. I was like one of three girls in my entire class um, and really fell in love with medicine and healthcare. I loved everything about it. I aced the class. Like It was so, so interesting for me. So rolling on through paramedics and stuff, I realized I did love this field. It was something for me. I loved the fast pace. I loved working with patients. And it wasn't until my lieutenant told me, I don't think this is for you. And I was like, excuse me, like, what do you mean? I just went through all this school. Like, this is what I want to do. He said, I think you should become a nurse. I think it's going to be better fit for you. I think you're more medical than you are kind of like this, this, you know, fire truck and going on all these different calls and things like that. And, um, it resonated with me and I was like, you know what? I think he's right. So I quit paramedics right then. Well, not right then and there, but I quit paramedics shortly after that and decided, okay, I'm going to, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And that's when I went back to community college and enrolled in prerequisites toward nursing school. Now I want to let you guys know my mother worked at Chamberlain university. She's been a nurse for a long time. She was now in nursing education and never really pushed like nursing on me, but I, you know, I always knew it was like a, a good field. And so my mom worked there. I said, okay, let me explore Chamberlain University. She was obviously a huge advocate for it. I went, I visited the school, fell in love. I said, okay, I'm ready. I want, I want to come here. And they said, well, you have kind of like a really sketchy academic background. You have a really poor GPA from one school. We see you got your associate degree with A's, which is great, but that associate degree was not really applicable to nursing school. Like I didn't have any anatomy, chemistry, microbio, like I didn't have any of those science classes. So they said, go outside of the, our school, go to community college again, take these prerequisites and come back when you're ready. And I was just like, oh my God, like another bump in the road. I can't just start. Why can't I just start? <laughs> um, so as as discouraging as that was, I still said, okay, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Um, and it was the best thing I've ever done for myself. Let me just say that. I went to community college for a full year, took all the prerequisites, straight A's and all of those prerequisites, went back to Chamberlain with my transcript and said, I'm ready. Gave them my transcript. 
I took the HESI entrance exam or the T's, one of the two, which is standard. Um, almost all nursing schools have like an entry exam. Um, passed that and I was able to finally start nursing courses. So it was a bit of a journey. Um, by this point, it was almost, let me see, because I was in my late 20s when I started nursing school. So it was like basically 10 years after I graduated high school, 10 years of just flipping back and forth. And I was so tired of it. And I said, Liz, shut up and do it. Shut up and go. Because at this point, you're going to become nothing. Um, not that, you know, being a mother wasn't anything, but I wanted a career for myself. And mind you, we already had a Leah too. We had Isaiah, we had a Leah, we had gotten married, like all of the other aspects of my life had come together except for my career and my passion of what I wanted to do for a living. So getting accepted was like the biggest, I mean, it's like I won the lottery really is how I felt. It's like I won the lottery. So now we can roll into my experience at Chamberlain. So just so you guys know, Chamberlain is a private school, um, which means it's expensive, like really expensive. Typically I wouldn't, say this online but I'll let you guys know that I graduated Chamberlain with a student loan debt of $54,000 and that was with a discount because my mom was an employee so granted that's probably subjective more or less depending on where you live and what state you're in things like that which campus you go to how many classes you actually have to take i came in with all of my prerequisites so i started school ready to roll with just those nursing courses um i would imagine it's a lot more expensive if you, if you take all of your prerequisites in chamberlain because they do offer that now you can start chamberlain right out of high school like i said take those prerequisites get through the nursing program and that's going to be three years but because I already had my first year done I graduated in two years. I found that because it's a private school you pay for what you get basically. Um, we got a lot of support, a lot of structure. It was an accelerated program. It was hard, very very hard. Like the hardest thing that you'll, you will ever do was nurse is nursing school and I, I think anybody who's gone through it can can agree with that. Um, so it was very, very challenging, but we had so much support along the way. I never felt alone. I never felt like I was struggling without somebody to help me. Never, not once. Um, they offer student services on campus every single day with experienced nurses who are there to tutor you and guide you. You're assigned a mentor. Um, and they really do facilitate that drive in you to like get through this program. Um, you will cry. You will be stressed. You will doubt yourself. You will want to give up. But... At the end of the day, if you really want it, you'll you'll stick it out. And that's exactly what I did. Some courses were easier than others, um, but for the majority of the classes, I'd say, I mean, it took some serious work. I was studying eight to 12 hours a day for certain classes. It was that rigorous and that intense because each class is eight weeks long. You don't have that typical 16 week um, course. It's eight weeks and you roll right onto the next. Eight weeks, roll right onto the next. But with that being said too, you only take one or two classes at a time. They'll either give you one class because it's pretty like rigorous and, and challenging, or you'll get a class that's moderately challenging and then an easy course paired with it. So it never feels too overwhelming. I found that the professors at my campus were experienced. I found that they were um, equipped and knowledgeable. Almost all of them were DNPs. They were doctor, doctorate you know, degree nurses. Um, and didn't really have too many experiences with, you know, not every professor is fantastic, but for the most part, if I was struggling in a class or struggling with a professor, like that professor's teaching style didn't meet, meet my or match my learning style, I had support outside of that through the tutors and the mentors. Now, with my tuition, just keep in mind, uniforms were not um, included, textbooks, supplies, um, things like that are not included in your tuition and on my campus we had to wear uniform um, to class I know a lot of other campuses only require uniform for your clinical practice For me, we had to wear it to clinicals and to class, which was kind of annoying clinicals were great The student gets to choose from a variety of different hospitals in your area And um, that's where you get your clinical experience and I found that to be like the best part of nursing school was going to the hospital and getting that hands-on experience while training with an actual nurse so that was great 
And come graduation, I really did feel prepared for the NCLEX, which is the, you know, state exam, not state, I'm sorry, national exam that you take to become a nurse and receive your nursing license. So when I graduated, I graduated with over a 3.0. Um, I graduated already with a job because I had gotten hired by my hospital um, before even graduating. And more importantly, I graduated feeling prepared for that NCLEX exam. Okay, so now, you know, after all that, you know, being said, I highly recommend Chamberlain University, um, personally. Um, I had a great experience. Like I said, I felt super prepared. I passed my NCLEX on the first try without feeling like I failed afterward, which is, I know, very atypical. Most people feel like they failed, but I was very confident that I passed afterwards and I did. So I really do, um, encourage you to explore you know the options like i said they have a variety of campuses throughout the country and if you live close to one and you're interested in going to nursing school i highly recommend checking them out okay so if you guys hear some baby giggles rain woke up from her nap so she'll be kind of chiming in on her her experiences as well <laughs> Now that I've been a nurse for a couple of years and several months ago I decided, okay, I'm ready to advance my degree, I naturally contacted Chamberlain because I know that they offer online degrees for MSN. Now, keep in mind, MSN is, you know, the Master's in Science of Nursing and there are several routes you can take. Um, most people that I know, most of my nurse friends that are going back to school are choosing the nurse practitioner route, which is fantastic. Nurse practitioners work along doctors, they can diagnose, they can prescribe, they can open up their own businesses, like opportunities are endless when you're a nurse practitioner. However, I chose to concentrate my MSN in education. We'll probably make another video on why I chose to concentrate my MSN in education over nurse practitioner route, but again, that's probably going to be another video because that would be pretty lengthy to include in this one. So I contacted Chamberlain, um, like I said, naturally, because I know that they offer the degree. They told me, okay, perfect. Because you work for this hospital that they're affiliated with, because they do clinicals there, and because you're an alumni, we're gonna give you this significant discount, is how they worded it, um, and told me that for me to receive my MSN in education, it would take me two full years, and it would cost me roughly around $22,000, which is, pretty affordable for a master's degree. Um, master's degrees are typically a lot more expensive than bachelor's degrees. So I was like, okay, cool, let's do it. Um, so I enrolled and started courses toward my MSN degree. And that put me at about two, it was like 22 to $2,300 per course. Um, but again, the same structure, it's like eight week classes. You kind of just go along. Um, everything is online. Everything is online and you know you have these weekly discussions you have a professor you don't have actual lecture but you have theories and you have a textbook and you have a thread that you need to communicate back and forth with your others the other students and the professor and papers and kind of all of that that comes along with grad school so i was just going with the flow and the other day i came across a video um, from someone who I am subscribed to on YouTube who's also a nurse. His name is Adam Price. I love his channel. He doesn't upload very often, but when he does, it's like really good content. And he went from being a CNA and now he has his MSN in education. The title of his video was something along the lines of receiving an MSN degree in just six months. And I was like, what? Six months? Like, I couldn't have clicked any faster. Um, he explained to me that he enrolled in a school called Western Governors University. Now, I had heard of Western Governors University because my mother has also worked for oh, Western Governors University. She uh, did online teaching or something to that nature a couple of years ago. So um, I asked her about it. I knew the school was accredited. I knew it was a good university. I just didn't know anything about them. You know, there's their universities are a dime a dozen, especially online MSN degrees. They're everywhere. So um, he explained that this you know, he can re he received his in six months and yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that sounds like a dream. Like, what the hell am I doing? So after receiving all the information on WGU, when I tell you that I withdrew from Chamberlain that day, that day applied for WGU and now I start WGU in uh, on April 1st. That's how quickly I jumped on that boat, okay? Western Governors University curriculum is what they call competency-based, meaning you go at your own pace. So if you take a class 
and you feel like you are already well versed in that topic, you can actually take an exam and test out of that course and then move on to the next. If you start a course, you can finish it in a week and move on to the next. That's how you're able to finish your degree in six months. It goes at your own pace. So if you're a self-starter and you're motivated and you're like a really good writer and you're, you're just good at school in general, this is for you. They have other degrees too, not just MSNs. They have a ton of different um, bachelor's and master's degrees options. So I got all the information, realized that it's super attainable for me to receive my, my MSN in six months and jumped on that boat. The best part is that they're going to take in and consider all of my other MSN credits and put that toward my degree so I don't waste any time and I didn't waste any money at Chamberlain online with this MSN degree. To top that all off, the MSN degree for six months is $4,000. You can get your MSN for four grand, okay? Four grand. And that's if you do it in six months. If you do it in a year, it's eight grand. I mean, the, it just doesn't even compare. And if you took two full years, it's only $14,000. I was paying $22,000 at Chamberlain for two full years. So the fact that I can really go hard and be aggressive and pursue this degree in six months, even eight months, and finish it at a fraction of the cost is just like chef's kiss, okay? I'm super excited about that. So when watching Adam Price's video, again, everything sold me. Um, he did say it was challenging. He said he wrote a lot of papers, but what got me was his capstone paper. He said his capstone paper was 110 pages. Jesus, take the wheel. So that right there scares me, but I'm a great writer. <laughs> I give myself that and I know I can do this. I will definitely keep you guys updated and check back in, maybe like at the three month mark and let you guys know how I'm doing, but I'm totally aiming toward finishing the MSN within six months and I'm super excited for that. That concludes this video. I really hope that it gave some of you some insight or inspiration on attaining your goals, if anything. And if you're interested in nursing, I highly advise that you check out Chamberlain University if there is a campus near you. If you're new here, I really, really hope that you like my channel and you subscribe for more content. I do overall lifestyle content, so revolving around nursing, my family, motherhood, I just bought a new house, so we're building that. So a lot of home decor and home updates will be coming up in the near future, as well as the birth of my fourth baby and kind of how my husband and I are going along with four kids. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. It's not a game, it's a rat